Hi there, let me know if you're here. I'm behind the banner. Oh, well, it'd help if I know how to get rid of it. Hi there, Tracy Winesapple here. Let me know if you're here. I'm just gonna try and get logged in so I can see everybody coming. Okay. Hi, good evening. It's a special Monday, Monday. Uh-oh. Oh, I, I got my iPad fixed, so hopefully this is going to work. Um, you are live with Tracy Weinzapple. I'm in my studio. I have a guest. Actually, I'm the guest to somebody else. Um, who happens to be a good friend of mine, but also we do business together, which is also great. Oh, God, the comments are rolling in. <gasps> wow, holy moly. All right, let me figure out if I'm live. I can usually tell by the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> and I do have to put a fan on, excuse me. Oh, I'm live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Mendez, Hey, Nadine. Hi, uh, Danelle, Deborah, Lisa with two S's, Connie with two N's, Floor. Wow, you guys are here. Uh, Maria. Um, thank you, Claudia, uh, Lori, Doreen, Debbie. This is fantastic. Hi, guys. Hi, Ines Candido, Connie, my friend. Hi, Anne. Oh, this is great. Okay. Sue, I can see you, Linda. Okay, love your shirt. Looks like you painted it. Thank you. By the way, I feel like a harpooned whale in the shirt. It's not really that flattering. But if I wear it from here, it's okay. Hi, Lauren. Sisters. Okay. Thank you, Mendez. I thought my shirt should match what we're doing tonight. So tonight is just a free demo. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jean. Oh, my God. This is great. Oh, I feel like a lot of people are logging in. Hi, Jan in Chicago. Hi, Joanne. Hi from Santa Barbara. Joanne, um, Louie, could you go over and hug my daughter over at UCSB? I would love that. Thank you. Sorry, I'm really hot. Thank you for loving my shirt. Hold on. I have got to. I've got somebody here in the house. Hold on. Sorry, somebody just knocked on my door. I had to make sure. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I work with a lovely company called Dare to Be Artsy. I don't even know how long back our partnership goes. Um, I should say I will grab my stamps so that you know. That I do. Okay. Are you coming in or out? Okay. Sorry, my dog is knocking on the door at the same time. All right. Thank you. 2015, she said. Really that long? Okay. So I have been so lucky in my life, and I'm going to bring on my partner in this. I am so proud of this in my life. Brings tears to my eyes. In 2015, um, I met a lady named Cindy and she, we were at a trade show. We have stories for you, but I'm going to bring her on. She is the owner of Dare to be Artsy and um, uh, we're going to just have a little mini chit chat. Yes, I'm doing a demo. Yes, everything that we're going to do tonight has to do with sunflowers. And there's a whole reason for that. Um, so I am going to add her in right now. Where is she? Hi, Cindy. Can you hear us? Yes. Can you guys hear me? 
Uh, yes, everybody, we need a little sound check. Can you, um, okay, is this being recorded? Yes, it'll be on my Facebook page. I just want to make sure everybody can hear us so that we can give a little history about how we met. It's a great story. And then I'm also going to tell them the story while I'm creating. <laughs> what was that credit I had? How much did we have to spend in one night? Do you oh remember? Oh my gosh. It was, was it like $200? We did a lot of drinking that night. <laughs> we did a lot of drinking and eating. It was crazy. Okay. So this is my friend, business associate, and... Um, I don't know, just creative partner. Uh, Cindy, she is the owner of Dare to Be Artsy. Cindy, can you tell us a little bit about you? Well, <laughs> um, I, I'm i from Kansas City, been in o Columbus, Ohio for the last 20 years, and we just moved back home. Um, I love all things creative. So stamping and scrapbooking and mixed media. I was very scared of mixed media until I met Tracy. Um, <laughs> we, we, I met her and she wanted to be able to stamp in her journals. And I was so excited, but I was like, that means I have to learn how to use paint too, instead of just ink and pens. So I have learned so much from Tracy and um, in watching her create, it's been an amazing journey um, and friendship to to work yeah. with. So um I like how you have the board behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I went and grabbed this. I was like, oh there we go. There's just a hint of fun fun stuff there. <laughs> so uh Cindy asked me long ago, I just didn't have the bandwidth at, or the knowledge about how to go about making stamps, but she made it so possible. And I have this weird, I don't know, I just have a lot of stuff in my brain, but harnessing that is something that is totally probably not as easy as, um, as, as working with me, but Cindy had a way of just saying, okay, this is the stamp set. And then I, I would tell her, here's my vision for the purpose behind the stamp, or here's where I'm at, or here's the word of the year. And then she, we would come up with the sayings, and so I did all the graphics and she would mostly come up with the words. And so I felt like that was just a real partnership. And then I fell off the planet for a little while. And she, we, we, they still have sold. I've come back. Um, I've added them back to my website. And then we discontinued just a few of them. And um, we now I'm stocking them all. And we are talking about something creative. I'm going to come out with more stamps. And if I say it here and I say it in the now, then I have to do it. It has to happen. Yeah. So that's in the work. So if there's anything you want, I already know like there's one thing she asked me for all the time. It's going to happen. But it's, I, it's actually easier for me if she sits on top of me and makes me do it. And then I will get all the ideas out for her to run with it. She's just amazing. Okay. So. Now, what this, what this brings, why this brings me here to this demo. Cindy asked me, there is a blog hop um, starting this coming weekend. She asked me to kind of go live, do a demo. <laughs> okay, people are asking, can you pre-order the stamps? Okay, we don't have stamps. <laughs> you can pre-order what's going on in here. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lisa. Um so, uh, and I'll let Cindy explain all of this, but they asked me to do a live and kick off this blog hop that they are doing over the weekend, but I am traveling for the next two weekends. So I am going to give Cindy the floor and she's going to talk to you and tell you what's going on. There you go. <laughs> so we are, um, Dare to be Artsy is part of the Stamping Village. You guys may have heard of that. Um, it's a lot of great uh, other stamp companies and we've all come together. And we we started this a number of years ago when we would go to Creativation and do, do this huge trade show um, where we had to, we collaborated on some stamp sets and stuff. Well, there is, um, you guys all know about what's going on in Ukraine right now. It's just 
heartbreaking to see what's going on there. So what we thought would be good is for all of us to combine again to do this blog hop and focus on sunflowers and blue and yellow, which are, you know, their flag and their flower. And each of the different companies, you'll hop from the different companies within each company, like at Dare to Be Artsy, um, my design team have made some cards focusing mostly on sunflowers. And you can then hop within the hop. Like You can click on my design team people's things and go see what they're doing. We'll have the link um, for this video. For We'll have a photo of what we're doing, what Tracy's doing tonight. And then you can actually go see that again there. And um, for Dare to Be Artsy, all of the sales from this weekend, a portion of the proceeds will go towards um, Ukraine relief. Um, so we didn't want to limit it to just sale of one certain stamp set, but we wanted to just open it up so we could make a little bit bigger impact. So that's what we're doing. Um, and again, Tracy's sunflower was the perfect <laughs> set. So a lot of my team has this stamp and this is combined with one of my new um, sisterhood stamp sets as well. And anyway, so that's why we decided to do this. We thought it was just a perfect way for Tracy to jump in and show what she can do with these amazing images of hers that she's created. So it was perfect. It was well, and when Cindy called me, um, I'm, tr I'm traveling. I'm going to Texas this weekend and I'm going to Orlando. And so when she called me, I was like, oh, it's like I'm a little. I, the one thing I said is I'm going to drop anything. I've been asked to do a few things. Um, for art relief. I donated some artwork for that to all be auctioned off. I said, just every dime of it. I don't need anything for it. Um, and when she asked me, I don't know, weirdly, I always think there's some sort of divine something going on. Um, sometimes it's hard to come up with a creative concept that I can demo and it can be quick and easy. So I'm going to make this quick and easy. But all three ideas came out just like that. I emailed you the photos over the weekend, last weekend, and um, uh, it just happened. Chris wants to know, did I miss the release of Stamping Village? I don't know what that means. Do you know that question? So there's not a new, um, like the, the past two years, we have not had a new Stamping Village set, like released that. Um, again, because cre uh, Creativation was halted because of COVID, we did not do a collaborative stamp set. So all of the other stamp sets we do have on our Dare to Be Artsy site, just Google the Stamping Village and it'll show you the stamps that we have available from previous years. So again, we didn't do a new stamp set for that. We're doing this hop instead, kind of instead, and just again, to show that we come together for good cause. So. Yeah, and people are asking, and I know this because once I said we were doing this, and this is the stamp set I am using, um, the purchases that they made maybe just a day or so ago, is there something we can do? And I'll talk to you after uh, because they might have already ordered it because they were anxious about tonight. I know people were anxious. Yes. So, yeah, yeah we might be, what we might be able to do is at least take the sale of of the sunflower set and add it to our pro the proceeds. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because it was, um, I didn't anticipate and I didn't, I just thought I wasn't gonna be a part of it. But the second I don't give a materials list is the second I have a lot of like uh, <laughs> feedback. Yes. Not mm -hmm. the most positive feedback that I can mm -hmm. put my skin on. Um, so uh, Elizabeth wants to know which day do the proceeds get donated? It starts on Friday. Friday through Sunday. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and Cindy, uh, so this also happened. The sunflower set did sell out. I'm going to tell everybody, um, I feel blessed to do what I do. I feel even more honored that the sets that we designed going back to 20, are still selling and that's amazing to me so i have added them back to my website i do allow you to back order them i did put mine on sale because i will tell cindy okay here we're gonna just set stuff aside to we want i want i've been asked to do so many fundraisers and i literally 
was like, what can I do that I know that the benefits are going to go? When Cindy contacted me, I was like, oh, this is easy peasy, light and squeezy for me. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, and I, I feel uh, like a such a small. Oh, sorry. sorry. Hold on. Cindy is moving at the moment. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then this is the other thing that is happening in our little world. At some point, we're going to do something collaboratively. I'm going to put her on the spot. Um, I feel very blessed by our friendship. We're going to do something. I'm either going to get her here or I'm going to go to Kansas City. So if anybody's in that area, I have taught and been a part of Cindy's company. You might have met me at Stamp Away. We've done some things together. She also sponsors and supports my retreat. Um, hey, Tracy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Because I totally went, and my daughter just called. And when she called, I can't see your picture. Like, I can't. Okay. No, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. I can yeah. hear you, and I'll see you on my other computer. Yeah. And I'm going to let her go, because I do want to do the, you know, I do want to do the demo and stuff. But at this point, I just want to say, um, uh, I work with many companies uh, and I'm super proud of this, but I'm also very proud when it's a woman owned company and Cindy is one of the hardest working people that I know and I love her dearly. So if you are looking for stamps, not just my stamps, <laughs> go look. And I did tell her if at any point you need to send me stamps so that I can come up with projects, she's going to do that. So, okay. Uh, Cindy, can I let you go? Yes. I love and you. I'm watching, If you have questions, I'll try and. Yeah. She's going to be watching through the demo and I love you, my friend. I will talk to you soon. And thank you for inviting me to do anything. Oh, I love you too. I can't we'll believe you don't give up on me every five minutes. <laughs> I'll All right. talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Hi. All right. So. Um. I feel very passionate about the companies that I work with. She's one of them. You obviously know I work with Jelly Arts as well. And I am very blessed by what I do for a living. Um, are you doing a workshop in Orlando? I am going to NAMTA, which is the National Art Materials Trade Association show. I am not teaching while I'm there. If I would have thought and had the forethought to contact my favorite store in Orlando, I would have done that. Um, but I did not. So Pam, I'm at a private event. All right. Uh, who wants to? Uh... Oh, okay. I got to let my dog in. Excuse me. Okay, come on. If you want to be let out in five minutes, I'm not letting you out. Okay. All right. So I will hit record, Jackie. Thank you for that idea. Uh, Penny is trying to get in and we have been attached at the hip. All right, everybody, let's get started. And by the way, I did perform a little bit of a magic oven situation. She's going to want to go out in two minutes. So when I say magic oven, I'm going to talk to you about everything I'm doing. Um, I do free demos. I uh, normally work in an art journal. Thank you. My dog is adorable. She's just, she's having a, a hard time because I'm redoing the kitchen. All right. So these are the three cards that we're going to do. And what I did hit record. I love it. I love my people. So these three cards, the concept is not going to change much. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to put this down here. Oops. I'm sorry. If you have questions, by the way, Cindy is watching and will answer questions. I will try to answer questions as well. All right. I will do my best. Annette, I love you. International questions. We will, t I, I need to figure this out, but uh, I will. Uh, just so you know, there she is. Okay. So these are the three cards. Here's the pre-work I did because I don't like to fussy cut. I'm not a fussy cutter, but I did fussy cut. So here they are. One, two, and three. All right. These are all pre-cut. You need to lay down. Otherwise, you need to leave. 
Okay. But I'm going to show you how I did them and I don't want it. This is recorded. It's on my YouTube channel. It can be uh, shared with everybody. It's free. Also, what I did was because a lot of people were asking me for a supply list, which I totally understand and I respect. I know you guys want to know what I'm using. I went in, not my stamps. Uh, yes, the, the purpose is uh, the, it's find your purpose. Oh, wait, that's not my, hold on. I did uh, an Amazon, um, I, 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 I have an Amazon affiliate account. Uh, but what I did was I made a list in there because a lot of people are, I work with deco art and I, not everybody knows me. Um, but people wanted to know what size cards, what I'm using. I put that all in my resources under this sunflower class. I wanted to make it as easy as possible. If I use something and you are questioning what I'm using, do not hesitate to ask me and I will pin this down for you and I will help you. I have a discount code to Deco Art if you're curious about that. But for the most part, you can do this with standard watercolors, an ultra fine and fine Sharpie, archival ink black uh, stamp pad, uh, watercolor paper, and I'm doing watercolor cards. Now you can do mixed media cards or watercolor. I like watercolor because I do a lot of mixed media stuff and watercolor takes stuff. All right. Should I stop talking? No. All right. Then if I need to put more lights on, I will. Oh, I do have lots of lights on. Okay. My dog is unreasonably attached to me because I'm having some work done on the house and I think her nerve, she's like me, <laughs> she's neurotic. All right, if I need more light or if something is not working, let me know. By the way, every Wednesday I do free um, demos. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, somebody just asked. I paint wine glasses too. I do. Uh, I have lots of local companies. And yes, I happen to have sunflowers, so they match my outfit. So, all right, let's paint. Okay, my dog is now settled on her pillow. So, the cards that I'm using are Strathmore watercolor cards. If you have watercolor paper, fold it in half, okay? That's all this is. Just saying. But I order them. Oh, shoot. I should show you. I get them like this because I do so many. So these are watercolor cards and they have envelopes. And yes, I use them as thank yous. Every time somebody places an order at my company, I send them something that is like handmade or a thank you something. So that's what I'm using. I don't know the size. Let me look. I put them in that list. It is 140 pounds. Well, you can't put the size on the front. My God made rulers. Sorry. Seven? No, it's six and some chains. Uh, six and some fractions by about five. <laughs> by the way, I have a degree in building construction management. So when I say six and some fractions, um, that's what I... That's what I go by. Where did I get my cabinets? Chris, if you would like to join me every Wednesday, I do a free demo on my, fa and my Facebook page. And I also um, do a Friday favorites every Friday at 8 a.m. And I share everything about everything I do. Okay. So where did I get this wonderful top? I have to think about that one. All right. Let's paint because there's going to be somebody who's going to be mad at me. All right. So this is these are the cards. And I'm going to show how I pre-did these, okay? All right, here we go. 
So I have some watercolor paper that I set aside. Beth, I don't remember where I got this top. I'm trying to think while we're talking about it. I'm not a fussy cut girl, and I'm not a girl who likes to stamp, nor am I a person who stamps well. So I'm going to admit everything before and then tell Cindy I apologize for how um, I just am who I am. All right. But I did try to put ink in this <laughs> about two minutes before we went online. So, um, but what I want to tell you is this is actually a free sample of watercolor paper. Um, and by the way, uh, so this is a thing. I I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I feel like I need to at some point make, no. Okay. Hi. So much of what Cindy does, by the way, has dyes that go with her stamps. Some of my stamp set have dyes. This one doesn't. Do not worry. Do not fret. I, I fussy cut this, but I don't fussy cut to where it makes a difference. And I'm going to show you how I did these. Very simple. Here we go. I, I, I've got Houdini sleeves on. Where do I get the clear block for the stamps to be on? Kelly, I'll put that on. I'll add that to the list. It's an acrylic block. I'll add it to the list. By the way, Cindy has a store in Kansas City. Uh, and she has access to this stuff. So what is a die? A die like that goes through, um, a, what do you call it? A spellbinders machine, that type of thing. Cindy, you're there. So what I want you to do is I want you, Kelly, I'll add it to the list. Um, it's on my favorites. It's one of my favorites. Um, so what I want you to do is stamp this image maybe five times. Now, here's the first mistake that I'm going to make. Cindy taught me this, by the way. This is perfectly good. Do not throw this away. Okay, die cut machine. Thank you. I have a spellbinders machine. So um, it's best that the ink sticks to ink. So I like to stamp it on here. I'm using a watercolor paper that has a lot of um, grooves in it, but this is perfectly fine, okay? Oh, and a spongy surface. I'm. She's right. By the way, I'm not a stamp person. I, I do everything wrong, and I'm okay with that. But I wanted to know, let you know that I, what I have done before, because I did the magic oven thing, because I thought, oh, I want Cindy to be impressed with what I do. Oh, I think I just stamped off the page. Nope, that's okay. So don't worry about this. I, a spongy surface does make a big difference, and I don't have a spongy surface around. And they have those misties and all that good stuff. I'm not that girl. I am the hot mess express who barely makes it through. Yeah, but we don't need this. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about this. So what I did was, this is actually scrap watercolor paper that I had. So I stamped this five times, okay? There you go. Okay. Voila. And it gets better. I have my stamp pad, by the way, doesn't have a lot of ink in it either. So Cindy... I don't know why she asked me to ever demo because I'm the world's worst. Yeah. Now, and she is right. If you have like, oh, a mouse pad, which I had right to the right of me, will work. A spongy surface. But I don't care about this. So I try to prove that you shouldn't have to worry about all this stuff. This is a uh, Primo watercolor classic. Uh... Set. These are your basics, your primaries. I love this. We're going to use this set. So everybody good? And then I am going to go from... <laughs> you guys are being too nice to me. Um, I also feel like this is not a good view, but I think you should know what I'm doing. So here we go. Oh, can I hit record? There we go. Thank you. So I'm going to... Um, just water this down. And I want to show you a variety of methods to do this. The first method is this. Ready? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I always do recommend, I just did a lot of water, but I'm primarily using, you can, you can spray down your watercolors to get them all nice and fired up. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I guess you don't need my keyboard in there, right? We're not gonna type while we're doing this. I gotta adjust that camera a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh, I feel so lucky to do that. Okay, so here's flower number one. Well, that was easy, right? And I'm going to show you how to get dip, different depths on things. Uh, so I did do the fussy cutting, but here's flower number two. Okay, this is water and obviously watercolors. And yes, this is how I created these cards. So I don't, by the way, if we have any of the Dare to Be Artsy um, design team members, y'all should shout your names out. And Okay. Okay, this is number two. <laughs> y'all are gonna, yeah, I don't like to be perfect. You cut them out, okay? And then, you know, so this was uh, wet on, or uh, la, 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 la. I didn't uh, pre-wet this. So it was just like uh, wet on dry. And then I pre-wet this and I just put some orange in there. And then, but every one is going to turn out a different color. And no, the middle doesn't matter. I know this is going to drive people crazy. I just want to prove you don't have to be. You don't have to be thinking about it. If you, you know, you can also spray down your paper like so. I like watercolor paper, but I do a lot of mixed media stuff. So don't, uh, mixed media paper is fine. Tends to be less expensive. If you're doing this on cardstock, it's not going to absorb the water as well. Uh, that doesn't matter. You're still going to be able to accomplish the same thing. You are still going to accomplish the same thing. Any of your Artful Journey members or, um, so see this one, I just went around the perimeter. Yeah. Any art masters, your Artful Journey or mixed media makers in here? I just want to shout out. But see, I kept this one just yellow. So this is wet on dry, meaning I didn't pre-wet it. I'm just going to use what's left. And yes, this is how I did it. I, I did... Going around the perimeter. <laughs> and every Wednesday I do a free demo. I paint on just about everything. Just going around the perimeter. And I'm going to let this dry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> See. And, and don't get any, don't get worried about anything. We're going to make this, we're going to turn this into something fun and art. Oh, I love you guys. All right, so then what I did was I took a heat gun to this. <laughs> okay, heat gun. Hair dryer. Oh, you guys, awesome. If you're not and you're curious about what I do, tune in Wednesday. So heat gun. Got it? And then I cut them out. See, they're not perfect. And I did fussy cut them. It wasn't a big deal. And by the way, don't fussy. I'll, I'll cut out one. I got to cut out one. I feel like I magic oven this. I never magic oven anything. How many of you are new and seeing Dare to be Archie for the first time? How many of you never knew I had one stamp set? <laughs> By the way, I just, okay, so there you go. I'm going to, I do that. And, and what I normally do to just make this easier is, and I know this is going to look nutty, but I like to do this. Don't fussy cut perfect. Okay. Just go to the tip, go to the tip of every one of those petals. Please don't do Perfect. Even if your stamp didn't turn out, this is perfectly good. 
Okay, that is perfectly good. I just don't like the whole, okay, I just gotta get rid of that, okay. And I will give you Dare to be Artsy. Dare to be Artsy can give, uh, Cindy, can you just give your link to your page? By the way, when I met Cindy, I felt like she was, um, oh good. Uh, we were just, uh, we just started talking uh, and it was like, she gave me a chance and it was so amazing because it was my first time. So, so this is all I'm doing. I'm just going in, but don't worry if the ends are bad or whatnot. And don't worry, these stamps will go fast. I, I just tend to clean up as I go along. And then I'm going to tell you the story. Oh, magic oven. Uh, so magic oven is when um, magic oven is when you see people, particularly on um, either like the home shopping network or a cooking shows, and they just pull it out and it's done and it's all done step by step. I have been on a couple of uh, home shopping network type things and you have to have everything done step by step because people don't want to watch paint dry. So that's the thing. All right. So that's all I'm doing. But I don't want you to. Um, yeah. Magic oven doesn't mean I made it in my head. Yeah. It just means you take all the steps and you break it down so that way people don't have to watch it. Oh God. And then I'm going to tell you the story about how Cindy and I had a dinner for two. I don't think it was $200. I think it was a lot more than that. And we used every dime of that money uh, over my hotel situation. And it was one of the best nights of my life. Uh, and it was all comped by the hotel because of how bad my situation was. So do you get this? I did this. So magic oven meant that I pre-cut all these out. Yeah. Can you imagine two girls in Boston? We did the, um, what is that tour? Cindy, help me. Uh, I'm thinking of the beer with the, um, what's the most Samuel Adams. We did the Samuel Adams. It was like, holy moly, we're stuck together. Okay, so do you see? I'm done. I'm done with this. It's not that, I mean, that's not, I don't know, I have six. Okay. So that's why I said go to the tips of all of these. And um, now I did put these on my list. I put, uh, these are archival ink. They don't have to be the orange. This is spiced marmalade and vintage photo. Anything that you have that is um, uh, like black or orange or uh, not black. Like you just want to uh, make these flowers look a little bit more like this is why I said don't fussy cut them. So this is the orange. This will make life a lot easier. It doesn't have to be this orange. Okay. But I thought that was a nice, do, brown is nice. You know, you think of sunflowers. So this is brown. Any brown will work. We did not do the duck boat. We did, um, we did the walk. Cindy, what was the walk? I remember the walk with the sidewalk and it was like the, it was amazing. We had such a good time. So that works great. That's why I told you, don't worry about the colors so much. You guys probably have stamp pads. You can just go along. Watercolor paper, normally if it's cold pressed, has a nice little. So I'm just gonna do this to it. And then my sunflowers are done. The Freedom Trail, thank you, Deborah. Oh my gosh, we did that. And we had dinner, I can't remember all the, but I'm gonna tell you my nightmare hotel story that led me to have, we were comped for the full night. We weren't supposed to be comped on the alcohol. But we we were. I'm gonna give. Um, here is the list, and I'm not sure I got everything in there, but I think I do. Thank you. Yep, the Freedom Trail. 
Yeah, we were we were pretty bonded because I was actually there for another company. I wasn't even there with Cindy. We just happened to be at the same event, and we knew we were going to be there. But I had a nightmare situation with the hotel. So do you see how I told you don't get obsessed with how this is going? Okay, there you go. Oh, I should have done one more. All right, and see if you want to run the look at those. We got perfectly good sunflowers. I like a good cold press watercolor paper. You can do this with mixed media. But that's why I said don't get obsessed with how things are turning out. Okay? So this is archival ink. It's not going to go anywhere. All right. Now we need our... Oh, here's our... These are the strap... Sorry, got a lot of... So these are the Strathmore... Um, watercolor cards you can use mixed media again oh i might need to rinse my water all right now what i like to do is get a nice clean oh i have so many hotel room stories it's not even funny um but i'm going to tell you that story while we're working because so I'm going to make sure we got a lot of light on this subject. So I like to do a nice, clean, little border. Okay, this is painter's tape. I'm not crazy about this. Any type of painter's tape will be great. And I know we went, we're going to, I normally try to keep my demos down to a half an hour to max one hour. But if we go over, it's because I was giving you the details of all the Stamping Village stuff. Uh-oh, better put that to the outside. And now I got these Houdini sleeves that are coming undone. Oh, you can still see me. So uh, I'm gonna give you this hotel story in a nutshell. I was hired by a company out of South Africa to go to this trade show. And I remember exactly where, and it was in Boston. It was my first time in Boston. I flew to Boston. I knew Cindy would be there. Life is good. Uh, the large box of cards. Yes, I can give you the affiliate link to that. I think it's already in there. I feel like I gave a 10, a 50, and a 100. Take a peek in there. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take out the classic watercolor set here, which I had out earlier. I felt like the um, colors of Ukraine and the flag were quite, quite poignant. So I used yellow down below and the teal. You can mix it. I didn't have the exact color, but I felt like that was a good. What you want to do is just cut this in half. Okay. And I'm going to go yellow on the bottom. And I'm not going to pre-wet this. Don't necessarily need it to go into one another. And I need to do this three times. I guess I should have taped down all three. So my story goes like this. Here's a little ditty about Jack and Diane. I mean, Cindy and Tracy. So the hotel that are, they originally booked me in an Airbnb. And... It was not an Airbnb. It was an Airbnb, but they, it was a bed and breakfast, the company. And it was no fault of the company out of South Africa because they had no clue. And um, it was supposed to be a nice bed and breakfast. Well, it was not. It was dirty. Um, I was in a room with no lock. I'm big on um, safety. I'm just going to make sure. All right. I don't necessarily... It doesn't matter if it bleeds through. I think one time sort of bled through. I don't care. Sherry, I don't, um, she asked about Canada. So I used the teal. Oh, shoot. I'm going to do this over here. I used the teal because I felt like that was the closest, but the blue is right next to it. So that's what this is. So if you're not getting the right color, by the way, I did not look to know if it's Canada or not. If I need to, let me know. So I'm just going to come down here. Oh, I'm using a very, I should be using a very much larger brush. Sorry. Just use a round brush. I don't know why I picked the most, the most small brush I own. 
Okay, there we go. And see, you can even pick that back up. There we go. And you want to do this three times. By the way, watercolors flow with water, so just use the water. I'm going to do this three times. Do you want me to make all three cards? Or do you want me to, like, be done with the demo early and call it a day? Because I can let this dry. I'll do one more. And if we decide to do the third one, I mean, you probably could do the third one on your own. I photographed all three. And if it leaks, don't worry, because I'm not letting anything dry. Water go. Watercolors go. I'll do one more. Okay. All three. <laughs> okay, she's not she's not making me stop. Uh what I do with my hold on, looking for my there it is. So um good, then I can just you guys can figure out what I'm doing with all three. I didn't realize I needed a separate Canada link. Um, if there's an issue, I'm gonna just do all three, which by the way, I probably could do this. Let's do this. Let's save some time. So um, I booked this hotel or I, I got to my uh, Airbnb situation. It was not safe. Uh, there were some construction guys next to me. I work in construction. It's not that problem. It's just they were drunk. That was the problem. And also there were some honeymooners next door to me in the bottom floor of this situation. Um, and when I say uh, honeymooners, they were happy to be married, which is so great for them. It wasn't so great for me. And also the room was disgusting. So I got there and it was pretty late. And um, the company that booked it was in South Africa. So I, anyway, long story short, I was trying to figure out how to evacuate the premises and ended up taking a Uber to the hotel sanctioned by the event and at 3.30 in the morning, which my mom was freaking out. But again, I was telling my mom, when you're in a taxi, you don't know people, but when you're in an Uber, you know everything about them. So, um... Long, even longer story. Um, I got to the hotel. I paid for the night. We're going to do this all over again. I'm going to do this, the same thing. I'm doing this all over again. Yellow, just yellow. We're just going to make it, you know, I feel like this was appropriate. And um, I got to the hotel. I Even though I checked in at three o'clock in the morning, I paid for that night. You know how you normally have to check in by three o'clock in the afternoon. And so the guy was not being so nice to me. And then he said, we don't have any rooms. And I said, well, that's fine, but I'm going to, I have no choice. I'm going to stay on your couch here. That's kind of going to look good for checking in. Uh, but I paid for the night and I'll take it up with somebody. Well, he then put me in a room on the sixth floor and I walked in on a very mad person and so long story short, they put me in another room, which happened to be the nicest room in the hotel. And then they comped me a lot of money. <laughs> I want to say it was more money than two girls could eat or drink. I'm going to dry this a little so you won't see that running between. And so I said to Cindy, because I met her at the trade show the next day, and I said, Okay, this happened. I've had two hours of sleep. I feel horrible, blah, blah, blah. And I said, they gave me this money. Is there any way you want to go to the hotel with me and we can use the money? And they told me that it doesn't transfer. <laughs> I will never forget. It doesn't transfer. And um, we had a good time. Uh, I think we, I want to say it was $200 and we, it wasn't, the food wasn't that expensive. And then um, we, we got wine and then it was like, it came down to dessert. We got dessert. And then I think I could get one last thing. And I got a, I remember I got a Samuel Adams Boston lager. 
<laughs> yes, we had the steak and dessert and drinks and more drinks. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. And it was so great because I was like, I don't know if the drinks are covered. But no, they covered every last aspect of it. Okay. And that was our story. And I said to her, we might not be able to make eye contact the next day. Um, but we spent, I tipped outside of that because I was so thankful for the, we were thankful. But um, also I stayed in the nicest room that had like a Roman shower, a huge bath. <laughs> but I earned it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> okay. Get it? Get it. Watercolors, super simple. Oops. Sorry, I just hit my camera. All right. Now, did you all get your stuff fussy cut it out? Oh, goodness. I don't remember where we were. No, it was a Kipton. It was a Kipton. I remember this because I could have taken the credits home with me. And I told Cindy, I'm not taking these credits home with me. It was a Kipton hotel. I remember that vividly because I said it was ended up being a nice hotel. All right. I know those cuts were not... Now we are going to cut out some leaves as well, which of course I did not think about, but I want to make sure this is dry. And if the tape gets wet, I usually just, all right. Yeah. All right, the first we're gonna do is this one. We'll do this one. And here, remember I'm gonna tell you this over and over again. If your image is not perfectly stamped, do not fret, okay? I'm gonna use that. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm going to do this because I happen to have that paper out. I'm just going to stamp it off. Just, I just want to make sure that it's going to work. It is going to work. Okay, and then I'm going to lay this down, lay me down. Okay. Oh, as it is. Now, I don't care where that lands, because by the way, you can draw that line out, but actually that landed pretty good. Oh, I always forget this. Doesn't matter. I can actually change this around, but your story is important. Is that going to fit there? Oh, I think it might. Okay. I think I would have moved this over to the left, but I did the same thing last time and I'm not overly concerned. I'm not big about placement. I mean, do I want it to look great? Yeah. Um, I feel very passionate about this saying, and I like that Cindy is gone with my little crazy ideas, but your story is important. Everything that is going on is important. So it's crazy when you think as a woman, maybe as a mother, I'm divorced. I just, I stamped that off. Maybe you think it's not important, but it is important. It's important to who you are, and it is important to maybe other people and people you impact in life. So I'm going to put your story is important right here, and I'm going to hope and pray that the stamp gods are with me. Oh, yeah, they were. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Um, all right. Now I'm going to go over this. with green, which will be fine because yellow and green go together so well. And I'm just going to come in and color this. Oops, a little too much water. Oh, 
thank you, you guys. Yeah, it's it's funny that maybe you think you don't matter, or you, you know, I always think, what do I have to contribute to this world? But I do have something to contribute, not when I keep doing it. So your story is important. Do not worry about perfectly coloring this in. Uh, we'll make our own new lines, okay? I like a good watercolor. Go all the way to the top. Don't worry if you go out of the lines. We'll, we'll live. We're all going to live, okay? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, but my sleeves are, like, everywhere. I appreciate you all, too. Otherwise, I'd have no reason to be doing what I'm doing. So watercolor paper works nice because um, it just absorbs things. And that, I, you know, I love. All right. Yeah. Now, what I liked about this is, and I'm not going to add this until I'm done, is I like that things are on the outside. So I'm going to take my ultra fine Sharpie right here, ultra fine that magic pen, and I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go along the perimeter of my tape. Don't worry if you go off and it's like, oh shoot, it wasn't straight. Don't worry if you go into your tape. Don't worry if your tape tends to stick a little bit. We're not into the worrying. See, this is what I'm talking about, watch. Okay, I went out of the lines, great. I'm gonna go back out of the lines. Life is good, we're fine. Okay, then I'm going to take the tape off. If your tape does not come off easily, do this. I'm not overly fond of this tape, so I'm hoping that I stayed at least relatively within the lines. Heat it up. Heat your tape up. It'll come off. Okay, there you go. We're near done. I told you once we get going, we're going to get going. So um, then I'm going to do this because I don't like a perfect line, okay? Oh, well, don't want to. Okay. Now, remember this. First, I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, I don't need to do that, no. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, pull all of these over here. Whoops. Now, um, I'm going to do a little acrylic situation. I like a good Quinn gold, quinacridone gold. If you can do like a Payne's gray or a carbon black, which I didn't pull that out before because I'm a ding dong. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a palette, Dollar Tree. Go to the Dollar Tree. All right, I'll, I'll get a new one for you. And if, by the way, I'm missing anything, I'll put it in that list. So I put this in there, but this is called Quinn Gold, Quinacridone Gold. I'm going to do a little bit of carbon black. All right. And remember how I said, I don't care if it's perfectly stamped. Could you guys move back, please? Here we go. So I'm just gonna come in. Anything that is not perfectly stamped, I'm gonna show you just this flower. Okay, anything that is not perfectly stamped, don't worry, you know, hey, do you need a middle? Sure, we need a middle. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get obsessed. By the way, most of the people who know me is anybody, is this your first time seeing me? That's a great, yeah, because this could be your first time seeing me. I like a nice little stencil brush, something like this or something like this. Just here, just something small. I'm going to use a small one. And then I'm going to take this, a little bit of the Quinn Gold. I'm going to stamp it off. It's not, oh, it's first time, first time. This is great. Yeah, let me know. Not, not that I mind. But I'm going to use some acrylic paint. 
this is why I don't get preoccupied with how things are turning out. Now, I'm stamping off most of this. See, watch. Okay, stamp. Okay, now I'm coming in here. And then I'm going to come back here. Okay. I think half the fun of the sunflower is the fact that the middle is so big. And it's just, it just, it just kind of like has many layers to it. Okay, good. And I want to do that to a few of them. So if, if your lines did not turn out, that's okay. We'll just add those back in. That's why I never get, you can scribble them back in. Look, we're going to scribble. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here. Um, burnt sienna, uh, Payne's gray, carbon black, like, those are the colors I'm uh, 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 like a burnt umber. Those are the colors of the middle of a sunflower. And that just makes life so much easier. And the other thing is just remember, not a lot of paint, not a ton of paint, but you see like You, every time you watch, you learn something new. And by the way, I could have just totally like sketched this for you and just left it. But I like, you can do it with the watercolors. You can do, you know, just, I like a good, I like the depth. I love matching acrylic with watercolor. Well, I'm just going to do it to five of these. Okay. Oh, you guys, thank you. And that's why I like made these stamps and I I just never get wrapped up in the whole, I know people do, and if it gets too dark, you can just go back in and wipe it off. But you can go into the watercolors, but I think a nice acrylic paint. And I'm giving you lots of different options. Um, Quinn Gold is considered like rust in a bottle. It looks like rust. And that's what I, reminds me so much of sunflowers. I get, every year I get, I go to Escondido and there's a huge sunflower field by us. So that's why I said, don't get wrapped up in how perfect. And if your lines aren't, you know, dark enough, just go in there and darken them up. Okay. Okie dokie pokey. And I'm going to add a little, oh, my doggy is literally like so attached. I'm going to add more light because I know it's getting dark in here. It's finally getting dark. Yeah, I just like to, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I like to prove that even when you think something is not good, don't throw it away because it probably is good. Otherwise, I might have been thrown away long ago. And see, this brushing this off makes a huge difference because then you'll find with any stencil brush, you just won't have tons of. All right, I think I got enough of those. If I don't, I can make another one. All right, now we're going to come back to this. I'm going to glue on because I'm, oh, it's 6.34. Oh, well. Cindy said, I'm the boss of me, so she said I could do it. All right, now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to glue this on. I'm just using a, um, oh, if you really care about stuff, by the way, you can paint the back of this. I don't. <laughs> it's just not me. Okay, I'm going to glue the back of this. Oops. Okay. Really? Could the bottom of this bottle be any more rounded? Mm. Okay. Stick that down. Oh, that wasn't quite dry. Let's stick that down. 
I'm just using Beacon's three in one. I sh did not let the, and I'm, I'm gonna glue, you know, by the way, you could fold most of this up. Okay, you could fold these little petals up. The reason I didn't stamp this right down is because it is kind of fun to have it three dimensional. Okay, and then I will show you one other little, okay, card number one is done. And, and by the way, I'm gonna probably rotate this a little bit. Okay, and then if something is not, you went out of the lines or it wasn't perfect or whatever, just, just go, there you go, done, done. Number one is done, but I feel like I, okay, number one, done. Uh, we're not completely done. I'm going to add one final detail to it. Okay. Now, what are the other ones I had? Oh, let's do this one. I want this one to say, what is your impact? What is your impact? Because I feel in life, oh, especially women, we just don't know what is our purpose? What is our impact? What? What are we doing in this world? So I'm going to go and do uh, this one right here. I already have my flower. Now I have leaves. Uh-oh. Oh. I have separate leaves. And I'm going to, ooh, I'm making a mess here. Well, I thought this was going to be quick and easy. That magic oven would make life a lot easier. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight leaves. I'm just using the back of that. I don't think that'll matter. One, two. I did not magic oven the leaves. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. Now guess what I'm going to do? Because I am who I am, I'm going to color them before I cut them out. I did not magic oven these. <laughs> Lisa, are you talking about all my ridiculous sayings? Oh, I do not think we want to put that down. All right. Now I'm just going to. Whoa, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm using those two. Never know. Fussy cutting is not my thing. Oh, by the way, you can mix yellow. And yes, you can mix your watercolors. Don't worry. I like how people get really like, oh, my watercolors got the green and the yellow. No, we're okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling. Okay. No, I'm not worried about highlighting and shadowing. It's just not how I roll. Okay. I colored these because I figured I could use them. What did I say the other day? And literally my coworker looked at me and I was like, I don't think that's a word. He was like, it is. No. <laughs> By the way, I did find my fussy cut scissors. Um, back in the day when I used to like scrapbook and make cards um, a little bit more, I had those retractable. Now I can't find them. So I'll probably use these. All right, now I always do this. First off, I do, I, I'm not going to worry about stems. That is not up my alley with this situation. I just want the leaves. And this actually isn't quite dry, but I promise the next two cards will go quite quick. Wednesday, I will be doing a free art journal demo. Next two weeks, I do not have Friday favorites on Friday because I will be traveling. That doesn't mean I won't be doing Friday favorites. It just means I might be on the road and I might do my Friday favorites um, from the 
trade show, but okay. Yeah. I'm just saving every leaf. No leaf left behind. Okay. I don't need the stem. It's not that important to me. And for those of you who don't fussy cut, I don't either. This is not my jam. It goes against every bit of OCD that I have in my body. If you have any questions, by the way, I will look up. Uh, I know Cindy is there and I will try to finish. I want all three cards. I, I think you get the idea of assembly. Oops, that's still wet. That's got my fingerprint right in it. Now, for those of you who don't like to fussy cut, me being one of them, I'm not going to bother cutting that out. This is a cool flower. This is a cool leaf, though. I, I, I can make use of that. I'll show you what I do just to... I like the attention to detail. Okay. Oh, you like fussy cutting? Could you come over here? Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, this is not my... I draw a lot. I mean, I not, you know, like, I'll actually draw more with my paintbrush than I do. I don't know how you describe what I do. Okay, do I have any more? One more. I think I got enough. I think I got one extra. I'm not cutting out that little one because that would drive me bonkers. So if the details don't come out as perfectly as you want, you can always take that fine point Sharpie and just run it right over. Okay. But that black stamp pad I have of mine, that works grand too. So just go along the edges. Oh, really? My dog wants to go out. Okay. Go along the edges. I, I do like to be... Oh, that was not a good cut. Okay. Doesn't matter. If you don't cut it out perfect, just go along the edges a little bit. And um, it will add depth if you don't see those white... I'm using a watercolor paper, so it is a little thicker, or mixed media paper will be a little thicker. Yeah, some of you guys like the fussy cutting. This would not be my thing. Um, okay. She literally just opened the door herself and let herself out. Yeah, I don't like perfect. And by the way, even if it's like not perfect, you're not going to know. Nobody is going to know. That's why taking this little stamp pad over the end of it, you know, nobody's going to know. What is that little thing on TikTok? Nobody's going to know. All right. Next card. I'm going to make this what is your impact because I feel like right now we should be focusing on that. So I'm going to put that there for right now, just so I can line up. And my stamp set has many a saying, what is your, and I put purpose. You can do whatever you want as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is what I like to do. What is your, just lay it down like Sue. Oh, wait, stick into my fingers. Okay. What is your impact on this world? What is your impact? Now I've never used this stamp. Oh, my hair is right there. Okay, what is your, what is your, and I'm just gonna line it up like so. Might help if I could see that. And there's a question mark, yes. Why am I lining it up like this? Because I find it to be easier to work with. And then I just lay the, Okay, make sure it's going in the right direction. That's fairly important. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. That, that. Okay, where's my stamp? Where is my block? Oops, I'm going to go. Oop, stick to my finger. Okay. 
Sorry, it's sticking to my finger. This is just how I line things up. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. That's where it's gone. Oh, yeah, stamp on, see, she's, she told me, she said, I, I have, st this is for my calendar today. Whoops, I'm going to do, yeah, what is your impact? Oh, that was a good stamp. Now, remember with watercolor paper too, it's a little groovy, but I agree with her. The the ink stamp the, the sticks the ink sticks to the ink better. So what is your impact? Now I'm gonna try now say the prayer to the stamp gods and don't do what I'm doing. Oh, it, it's fine. I'm good. Whew, thank God. Okay, cover the stamp pad so your sleeve doesn't go in it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the ink, the Sharpie. And I'm gonna do this. Mm, don't worry if you're not perfect. What is your impact? Okay. Then I'm going to remove said tape. I got a sec. I got another card attached to this, so I'm just going to remove that. By the way, I'll add the painter's tape. I'll add the painter's tape to my list because that's kind of it's kind of important. All right. And then I'm going to come along here. Now, if any part of my stamp didn't perfectly stamp, just take your Sharpie over it. Okay. Okay. Take my. Now, I need. How many leaves did I put on this? What is your impact? I put three. Really? Okay. One, two, three. One, two, and three. I like this glue because I'm running out, but. Okay. Yes, I'm sticking the flower. You have time to work with this. This is Beacons 3-in-1, Zip Dry, whatever. And I, I did go on the outside. Um, I like being on the outside of my little frame. So then I'm just going to take all of my leaves and do the same thing. And I just, whoops. Uh, I don't know. Do I care about placing it? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to fold them up a little bit. Oh, see, it's already coming out. Waiting for me. Waiting for me. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to... There you go. Okay. What is your impact? Number two. Okay. And by the way, I still have one small element to stick. Uh, somebody's asking, do you stick them back on the paper? Yeah, I stick, I store, I'll talk about my cleanup in a minute. I will talk about my cleanup. I will not leave you hanging on cleanup. Last one. Now, the last one are the last boom, 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 boom. What did I say? What is your passion? Oh, what is your impact? Huh? Your story is important. You can put whatever. What is your passion? You can do whatever you want here. Okay, hold on. What is your purpose? Your story is important. What is your passion? That's fine. Okay. What is your impact? Let's change that around. Now, what is your, I'm doing the same thing. I don't even think I cleaned off my stamps. Oh, well, we'll live. Now, I do want to position this. Uh-oh. What is your passion? I'm doing mine right now as we speak. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What is your passion? 
I am doing mine as I speak. By the way, the year I designed this stamp set was the year my word was purpose because I was trying to figure out why on earth God put me here. Okay. So I do clean all my stamps off. And I put them right back on here. They go right back on here. See, I just, as I'm working, I usually just stick them back. Now, I like a good, uh, you know, just this, I like this glue because it gives me time to work. And here's my leftover leaves. So we're going to go ahead. I know I went over a little longer than I normally do. And my stomach is letting me know that. I like this glue because it's very permanent. It gives me time to work with it. Oh, 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 time out. Huh. Oh, well, okay, hold on. Let's, let's get away, get away, get away. Um, well, we don't need a line behind there, do we? <laughs> I do have to get the tape out of there. Okay, somebody could have said, Remove the tape. Oh, tape. Thank you for the warning. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> All right. Now we do 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 going on. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. She means well, but she's awfully clumsy. Now, I really, look at this. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Does anybody see that? See, I had an escapee. So we're going to redesign. Look at that petal. Oh, perfecto. Never even going to know. Oh, look at this glue is exploding by the moment. Yep, we're hiding stuff. I got a way of hiding everything. Right now, I'm wearing a harpooned whale t-shirt. <laughs> by the way, thank you for all the messages this morning about my hiking thing that I'm doing. Okay. We're, we're running out of glue, people. There's a way to fix everything that I do. Okay, I'm going to leave that on the side. Okay, ready? 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 Okay. Nope. See? Can't see it. Oh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Tape. <laughs> okay. Yeah, glue dots, anything like that. I, I just, uh, which one's going where? Okay. Do, 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 do. You can look at composition wise how things are going. I could have put a leaf over there too. Okay, fold up the little leaves as you go. Almost done. Oh, oh, come on, go underneath. What are you doing? Okay, thank you. I hope I was able to answer most of your questions while I was. Messing this up. See, there's that one leaf. One, two. Good. Now, I usually like to count odd numbers. So just give me a minute while I overly obsess over how this looks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I do not want six, but I really do want six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm doing this. Okay, fine. I'm just doing it because I can't. Okay, because I had the leaf and I'm using it. All right, last thing on my little thing, because I think fun sunflowers are so fun. Oops, I got to get this. I'm putting all three of these in front of me. What is your impact? What is your story is important? Where's the back of my paintbrush? And then I will come back and answer any questions 
I should, I should send a card to somebody, huh? Okay. Uh, this is just white paint, white craft paint, the back of my, the back of my, oh, you guys were able to see me the whole time. Um, ooh. can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just giving this a little bit of sunflower dust. Thank you, Cindy, for making me do all three of them. Okay, done. Uh, what size are the postcards? Um, there are six and some change. I gave the link in my... Um, Oh, sorry. I should have moved these over. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Turn that off. I'll come back. Anybody needs a cigarette after that? I, I planned on this being less time, and I thought the fussy cutting would. <laughs> okay. So, um, any questions? Number one. Number two and number three. They all use the same style. They all use the same premise. That's it. You are welcome, Cindy. Um, let me know when you want to do something. Again, I'm available. Uh, any other questions? By the way, my name is Tracy Weinsapple, just as it sounds. Yes. Uh I don't know. Hold on. Let me just get my name up there so you know what it is. Uh, uh, I can add it, I think. Maybe I can't add it. Uh, yeah, there we go. So my name is Tracy Weinsaffle Studios. I do a free demo. If you have any questions, I probably could send these off to We can auction these off or do something with them or send them to somebody as a thank you. That's what I normally do. That's how life goes. And so um, I do have several... Um, uh, donation spots that I can recommend to as well. <sighs> Thank you very much. Any other questions before I go? Mm, Wednesday, I'm on. I'm doing a free live art journaling demo. I paint on just about everything. So if you want to know what's going on, I would be happy to answer any of your questions. If you have questions about the supplies I was using, I think I added them all in my Amazon affiliate minus the stamps because you know where to get those stamps. And I just want you to know, do something creative every day. It helps the mind, body, soul, spirit, and you show up better in life to the people around you because that's what works for me. You guys are so welcome. Please go to my Facebook page and share the stamps that you made. And thank you, Cindy, for this opportunity. Uh, it's a very wonderful cause. Uh, you know, I don't like to, to talk about world events. It's just not my forte. You just want peace. But um, please join in that blog hop this weekend and support the Stamping Village. Not only is this going to a good cause, but it is these hardworking companies and manufacturers that bring you the amazing products that you can live your life creatively. It's amazing. All right. I'm going to go and eat dinner. I will. How soon will the replay be available? I'm still on card one. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel, Jackie. Yep. And it can be embedded from there. If, uh, all right. Thank you, Cindy. I will talk to you all soon. I'm going to go eat dinner. Sorry this went over a little bit. I just thought it was important to finish all three cards. Have a wonderful evening. If you have any questions, my name is Tracy Weinzaffel. Drop me an email, a homing pigeon, whatever you think will get to me, and I will help you. I love you too, my friend, and thank you so much for being such an amazing person and impacting people in so many ways. You have no idea. Good night.